Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, September 6. It's the 16th week after Pentecost, and week 3 in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 45, and John 10, verse 31 to 42. And now please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts, to the tune of Old 100. Our God is good, our God is kind, whose grace is great and mercy sure, and the whole race of humankind. God's truth from age to age endures. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, my heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. Hallelujah. Psalm 45, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, my heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. My tongue is nimble like the pen of a scribe. And you, O king, are fairer than the children of the earth. Grace is poured upon your lips, because God has blessed you forever. O mighty warrior, gird your sword upon your thigh, with your glory and your majesty, and in your majesty ride triumphantly, for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness and your right hand shall teach you terrible things. Your arrows pierce the hearts of your enemies, and peoples fall beneath you. O God, your throne is forever and ever. Your scepter is a scepter of righteousness. O King, you love righteousness and hate iniquity. And therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your peers. Your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloes. Out of the ivory palaces, stringed instruments make you glad. The daughters of kings are among your honorable ladies, and on your right hand stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Listen, daughter, and climb your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your master worship him. And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor. The princess is glorious in her chamber, her clothing woven with gold. She is brought to you in many colored robes, and her virgin companions follow. With gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into your palace. In place of your ancestors shall be your children, and you will make them rulers in all the earth. And I will make your name to be remembered by all generations. Therefore the people praise you forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my heart overflows with noble words. Let me speak the song which I have made for the King. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 31. The Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus replied, I have shown you many good works from the Father. For which of these are you going to stone me? And the Jews answered, It is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for blasphemy, because you, though only a human being, are making yourself God. And Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law? I said, You are gods. If those to whom the word of God came were called gods, and the scripture cannot be annulled, can you say that the one whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world is blaspheming, because I said, 
I am God's son. If I am not doing the works of my father, then do not believe me. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest him again, but he escaped from their hands. He went away again across the Jordan to the place where John had been baptizing, and he remained there. Many came to him, and they were saying, John performed no signs, but everything that John said about this man was true, and many believed in him there. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray in the words our Savior has taught us. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh, heavenly God, we remember before you those who suffer want and anxiety from lack of work. Guide the people of this land so to use our public and private wealth that all may find suitable and fulfilling employment and receive just payment for their labor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.